So joining us live in studio to talk about how all of this could play out uh, and maybe why this is happening is uh, filmmaker and actress Ashley Cusato. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Thanks so, for having me. Thank you. There's so much to cover. So let's first talk about mm -hmm. the actor strike and what's happening with that. So the Screen Actors Guild, which is SAG-AFTRA, um, it represents over 160,000 actors, stunt performers, uh, voiceover artists, um, even yourself, uh, broadcast news. So it covers a lot of different artists, but the contract we are negotiating right now is the um, contract that covers only film and television for actors. Mm. And that, as you mentioned, right. that contract was up yesterday. And Fran Drescher is the president of the Screen Actors Guild, and she said the per that conversations have been going well, which is why we have an extension to July 12th, which will give everyone time to have a nice 4th of July, Keep working. yes, talk a little bit more, <laughs> and hopefully come to an agreement by July 12th. But if there isn't an agreement by July 12th, the actors will strike. And that will definitely put a lot of pressure on the entertainment business in mm. general, because any any scripts that may have been stockpiled, right. Right. Um, they are going through that already. But that would stop um, an enormous amount of mm -hmm. um, production, period. I mean, we're all, we're all ready. When right. I've gone down to uh, some of the studios, um, just for some of these news interviews, the lots are, are quiet. Nobody's are there. Wow. You know, the front gates are closed mm -hmm. down, actually. Yeah. It, you know, the studios, I mean, do you think they're going to start sweating a little bit? Do you think they're going to be more likely to cave when the pressure is on them? Because they need content in order to stay afloat. They do. I mean, we, they, they always need content. You know, I think now the streamers have completely changed the right. playing field in the entertainment business. So there's so much content that exists right now on the streamers. And what, what there won't be is a lot of new, fresh content, um, except for, you know, some morning shows and some some basic other um, productions that can continue, um, as well as like news channels like yourself. But I would say, um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, if the actors do strike with the writers on July 12th, this will be the first strike where two unions within the entertainment business will be striking at the same time. Mm -hmm. In fact, the last time that happened was six decades ago. Wow. Uh, yes, and when Ronald Reagan was the president of the Screen Actors Guild. Interesting. Right? So what do the actors want? So the actors want um, more compensation on minimum rates. And so what we do, we call that in the business scale, actors working yep. for scale, mm -hmm. um, day rates, weekly rates. They want more residuals um, and to start to uh, have some structure for residuals on the streaming platforms. Right. Uh, they also want some safeguards in for artificial intelligence, mm. uh, as well as the writers. It's the same issue. They don't want their likeness, um, whether that's physical, voice, mm -hmm. Uh, mannerisms to be taken and and used to make um, production quality great work you right. know with AI and then the <clears throat> final piece that I'd love to bring in which is a conversation we haven't had in past years is self tape auditioning mm. and self tape auditioning is something that really started at the beginning of the pandemic because yeah. we were all under lockdown and so the actors have had to take on this additional right. financial burden on um, cameras lighting all of this stuff yeah. that a casting director would normally do yes. And now these casting directors just to send out the thing, and they just have to look at tapes. It's almost like yeah. I, don't, I don't want to dismiss and you know be uh, disrespectful to an entire industry. The actors are doing their job for them, are they not? Am I being a little over the top with that? Well, um, technically, production usually covers the cost of auditioning, right? So mm -hmm. that would be um, the technical side of things: having the cameras up, the lights. Right. You have someone editing all the audition tapes, organizing it in the structure in which they want production, or the act, or the directors, or the casting directors want to see it and view it. And even some actors um, are paying people. They're going to places mm -hmm. and they're they're actually paying to right. audition now right. where they have someone there to read with and you know the lights <clears> are up, <throat> the camera's there right. and those things are done. So that, it's been really challenging because the whole entertainment business really shut down for us during the pandemic even more so than other industries. And I think it's very challenging for actors to have to take on all mm -hmm. of that as well. And, I, and I'm sure there's some also, there's some positives to it as well. I think maybe some actors feel comfortable auditioning at home if they have family members that can read with them and things like that. Not so, Everybody does. All right. But well, they don't. Last yes. question. So the streaming thing seems to be at the root, really, for the actors in the Writers Guild. I, I you know, I'm not asking you to uh, <laughs> look into your crystal ball, but how do you see it playing out? I mean, because you're right, the streaming and the AI thing 
we're at a crossroads here for this industry that could take us in a whole different direction. This is a very important negotiation. How do you think it's going to play out? Oh, gosh, I think that obviously everyone wants to get back to work. Unions do support each other, just like we see out on the streets right now. The Teamsters are out there. You know, the um, directors were out supporting the writers and the actors are supporting the writers so i think hopefully everyone can come to some conclusions even for the writers as well yeah um i it sounds like it, there was some positive m momentum for mm -hmm. the actors yeah and i think that because there was a petition or a letter that was signed by over a thousand actors encouraging the leaders of screen actors guild not to settle, yeah. not to compromise too much. And I think there's also a little bit of pressure um, for the actors to support the writers mm -hmm. as well um, and not maybe to, uh, to uh, I don't know, uh, be too quick to agree to right. terms that may not be good for everybody. But I don't think that is necessarily going to happen. I think we have great leadership mm -hmm. and I um, just want to stay positive. All right. Well, yes. I, I appreciate your positivity. Ashley Casado, you keep us up to date as Thank things you. develop. Thank All right. you.